Hello, this is Anna Rona, and today I'd like to speak with you about feeling good now. So what is the importance of feeling good now? It's great. I mean, you'll feel good. Now, oftentimes we want to feel good in life and things in life happen and they come with a whole set of emotions that run through us. A lot of times they're not that good of an emotion. And many people think it's better to come across to others as being in a good place. So oftentimes we hide what we're truly feeling and try and put on a happy face. Now we have an energetic communication that happens between people. And a lot of the times people will sense what you're feeling before you even open your mouth and speak. So animals are actually really good at, at this stuff. You have a dog, your dog will know right away what kind of mood you're in as soon as you walk into the house. And people too, on an underlying level, on an unconscious level, people can always sense what you're feeling. So there's no point in hiding what you're feeling. Now, if you're not feeling good, just own up to it and then do something to shift how you feel. So that could be any number of things for you. So is it stopping in the middle of a day to slow your breathing, take a few minutes to meditate and close your eyes and shift how you're feeling? Is it getting up from a sitting position and moving your body, maybe having a little dance break? Is it singing to your favorite song? I know I love to sing when I drive. It helps keep me in a positive mood. Is it going outside for some fresh air or to look at the trees or listen to the birds? What is it for you? What can you do in this moment? Is it going to your loved one and hugging them? Is it petting your pet if you have one? Whatever that is, is it smelling an essential oil and taking that pause to just inhale something? I know for me, that helps shift my mood immediately. So whatever it is for you, do more of those things every day, even if they just take a few seconds. So feeling good can look like various different things for different people. We could feel content. We could feel serene and calm. We could feel eager and anticipating something exciting. We could feel very exuberant and joyful and like we're jumping up and down. There's so many different levels of feeling good. It doesn't really matter which one you choose and which one you can reach. What matters is that you're striving in each moment to feel good. Now, I mentioned earlier, this is important because you will be feeling good and that obviously feels better than feeling bad. But another reason is that you will actually impact those around you on an energetic level. So the better you feel, the more you'll go out into the world and be kind to others, spread joy to others, smile at somebody else that might lift up their day and change their entire mood. The more we feel good, the more we go out into the world with that good feeling and the more we spread the feeling goodness and the more the world becomes a better place. So stop what you're doing right now and go do something that makes you feel good. Thank you for watching and I'm wishing you a terrific day.